Welcome to my CBC English teacher. Today let's learn the poem Childhood by Marcus Nathan from class 11 English. If you're watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing. You can listen to the explanations of lessons from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. About the poet Marcus Nathan was a Norwegian poet. He wrote a poem Childhood. In this poem he tries to find out when he lost his childhood. Through his poem he wrote that people do not live the lives that they preach. Introduction. Have we ever wondered where we have lost our childhood? The poet has the same question. He believes that he has lost the innocence and purity of his childhood to some unknown and unforgotten place. Through his poem Childhood, the reader is confronted with the question as to when and where have we lost our childhood. The answers lead to self-discovery. Let's look at the summary of the poem. Stanza 1. The poet is curious to know when he lost his childhood. He tries to find out the answer of his own question. He feels it was perhaps that day when he discovered the theories of heaven and hell and that geography did not provide him any information about the existence of such places. Education has made the poet look at the world differently with more reason and logic. The poet feels that he had probably lost his childhood when he had acquired rational thinking towards his surroundings. Stanza 2 In this stanza the poet figures out that the adults around him did not practice what they usually preached they taught others to be loving and caring when they themselves were violent and mean this is when the child lost his trust and faith in the adults the poet realizes that probably the loss of faith and trust might have been the major steps towards losing his childhood Stanza 3 The poet while growing up realizes that his mind is powerful and it takes its own decisions his own opinions and thoughts have earned him individuality free from the biased notions of others this is when he thinks that his individuality and experiences have taken away the childhood from him Stanza 4 Finally in the ending stanza of the poem The poet changes his question from when to where he has lost his childhood. Marcus Nathan says that his childhood has gone hiding into some forgotten place. It can be found in an infant's face. The last lines can be interpreted as that the childhood is a lost memory. We call the fantasies and the moments associated with it, but at the same time the innocence and the childhood are irrevocably lost. Here are some of the poetic devices used in the poem. Repetition. When did my childhood go and was that the day? Alliteration. My mind. Whichever way. That day and the time. Let's look at the questions and answers. Question number 1. What according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up? Answer. According to the poem The process of growing up involves the attainment of mental maturity. A person is said to be grown up when he has become logical, rational and is able to build his own thoughts. A grown up has the power to distinguish between reality and fantasy. Read the extract and answer. Extract number 1. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that the day Here are the questions give the title of the poem and the name of the poet what according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up what is the poet's feeling towards childhood what did he search for in his geography book
here are the answers answer 1 the title of the poem is childhood the poet's name is marcus nathan answer 2 as the poet grew up he began to think question and challenge the things which had been taught to him by grown-ups answer 3 the poet is somewhat sad at the loss of his childhood innocence simplicity and honesty answer 4 he searched for hell and heaven in his geography book here is the second extract where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know the questions what does the poet want to know why does he hold childhood so dear where can one see childhood in pure form what is hidden in the infant's face let's look at the answers answer one the poet wants to know where his childhood has gone answer two childhood is dear to the poet because up to a certain age the child is free from so many vices and hypocrisy answer three now that the poet has grown his childhood he can never again regain it he can at the best get a glimpse of his childhood innocence in the face of an infant answer number four childhood is reflected in any infant's face I hope you like today's video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSC English teacher. Don't forget to like, share and give your valuable comment. Please subscribe to my CBSC English teacher. Thank you for watching.